This video shows how to solve a simple differential equation in which we know dy by dx, i.e. the gradient function, and want to find y. And we know a coordinate that y passes through. So to find out what y equals, we have to integrate to reverse the process of differentiation. So y will equal... Now we have to integrate both parts separately. And we know that to integrate we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So I get 6x. If I add 1 to the power, I get 1.5, which is the same as 3 over 2. I then want to divide by the new power, which is a fraction. However, if I divide by a fraction, that's the same as timesing by the fraction reciprocated. So to divide by 3 over 2 is the same as timesing by 2 over 3. So again, when you divide by a fraction, just times by the fraction reciprocated. Then the minus 5 goes to minus 5x, and we add c. So this is the equation integrated. But this can be made a bit more simple, because if I times by 2, I get 12, and then divide by 3, I get 4. So it's 4x to the 3 over 2, take away 5x plus c. And the question, therefore, is, is really saying, is what value must c be to make this pass through the coordinate 420? And this is called a general solution to the differential equation. To find the particular solution which passes through that coordinate, I must put these two values into the equation to find which value of c makes the equation hold. So, if y is 20, then x is 4, so 4 lots of 4 to the power of 3 over 2, take away 5 lots of 4 plus c. Now we could use a calculator here, however, if we don't have a calculator, 4 cubed is 64, then square root it, you get 8. So 20 equals 4 lots of 8, take 5 lots of 4 plus c, which tells us that 20 must equal 4 raised to 32, Take 20 plus c, so therefore 20 equals, that becomes 12, plus c, therefore c must equal 8 to make the equation hold. So therefore, I know my overall solution, my particular solution, y must equal 4x to the 3 over 2, take away 5x plus 8. That is my particular solution, passing through the coordinate, 420.